Okay, it is time for de-kitting my barn owl pear and the uh, butterfly, which was called Wish Granter. So one square, one round, and we're just gonna. Okay, one thing I want to show you um, on the inside of this lid, I've put my notes of which colors I'm short of for uh, certain projects so that I can just keep an eye on when maybe, just maybe, I get some get some uh, spare drills that I can use on other projects. Okay, so I got my baggies and my little cards, inserts. Now the first thing, ooh, let me just start with this. I got round labels and rectangle labels. So both of these are purchased off of Amazon. This is an Avery label and this is one by Garage Sale Pup. Um, so now if you want I was going to say, if you want, um, I hesitate to say this, but this file, the files that I use to print this, I can probably post them on my blog for you to download. I hesitate with this one, um, but you will have to, I will have to put the description. Well, disclaimer on there 221 is missing here I missed it I caught it when I was doing the rectangle labels um, and then I've also added a cruise to it because I've seen recently that there are some companies that are starting to use a crew drills so this is not a perfect document and I'm in order for me to fix it, I would have to go and change everything after where 221 goes in. Everything would have to shift and that would be just it would basically me retyping everything. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> so, so alright, well, the first thing I want to do before I start the de-kitting is I want to go through and you know what I was thinking I just need something so when I take a bag out I can throw this in that way I don't have to search for its spot again so what I'm doing right now is I'm pulling out the few bags that I put in there from my very first de-kitting and I'm going to replace the label on them so this is a 151 round so all I need to do is grab you and stick you on. Alright, so there's one. Get you back in there. Let's go to the next one. Alright, so 152. And these are all going to be round, so 152. We're going to grab it off of the label sheet. to the bag. Alright, so this should be pretty easy to find because you know the cards that don't have any baggies between them will kind of clump together. So 223 and you're right there. So these are kind of cool labels. They have 
they have a little split right here so that when you bend it they should just pop right up right there that works it's 223 label swap done 224 Yep, so I really do, I, I am thrilled with having done these labels um, because it does make sense now. It makes sense now that I'm doing it to have a round label for the round drills and a square rectangle label for the squares because I am a very visual person um, and by Having all of them on a sheet like this, I can also use this as a quick reference to which colors do I not already have a baggie for. I don't know how helpful that would be, but if it if I find that it's gonna be a helpful thing, that will that will be a good good thing to have. Although I might find it to be basically useless, but we don't know until I get further along in this process and decide what works for me and what doesn't. Okay, so there's a chance I might miss one of the baggies if it's like a super small amount of drills or you know who knows it's not a big deal because um have to think to find the label i'll come across it at some point and be able to remedy the situation i think what i'll do also once we're at some point, I'll have to. Ugh. I just forgot to put the thing in. So now I have to search for the card. 153. I hope this doesn't bother you guys that I'm sliding it back and forth, but since I have such a small area that this my phone will show that I figure this is about how it's gonna have to work okay. and I figure um, so we'll be get you know I'm all set for whenever I need to label up baggies and if I end up with multiple baggies for one color, I have extra labels on the, you know, the last sheet that I can use up. And then I also have, for rectangle, I have the Avery stuff that I use. Um, but for round, I might as well just stick with what's on the sheet. So 120, nope, not one, 524, 524 is, okay, so I hope you guys don't mind sitting here with me as I do this. But if I, you know, I, I think about if I was watching Rebecca 
and she decided to do something like this, I'd be okay with watching her do do this very thing. So Alright, so my next baggie is six forty. So I'm glad that I decided to do this early on in this um, getting this set up so that I only have one kit to go back and redo labels on one set of baggies from one kit. I bet you Rebecca um, was wishing that when she decided to make changes to her her system. 647. But alas, she diamond paints a heck of a lot more than I do. And she has had her system in play for a lot longer. So, 648. is right there. And one thing that I'm thankful of that when I kit it when I um, put that first kit into spare storage, all I had was removable Avery stickers to work with. As they are coming off these bags extremely easily. I mean granted they wouldn't come off on their own but they peel off really easily when you put put it into motion. I don't know what words I was looking for, but that's good good enough for me. Just start doing the thing. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so it looks like here's my next one. I just just noticed that I'm starting to get a headache. So you know that. Oh, and you see, I put a star next to one of the colors that I I need for another project. So that would be even quicker for me to notice that. Oh, hey, I'm getting I, some eight. 23s. I need those for another project. So cool beans. Yep. Okay, 761. Yeah, so my husband asked me if what I thought about getting another dog. We kind of agreed that we wouldn't get any more pets. while my mother-in-law is still living with us because she made our so we had a cat named Sonia and a dog named to Toby okay that was 819 um, she managed to make both those pets neurotic I mean Sony not so much. Cats tend to be pretty chill. Unless you give them <laughs> unless you give them catnip. Um, but or if they find their own stash of catnip. I think well let's do the catnip theory or the self catnip theory later. Because that's a you know rabbit trail right there. Um, so, he asked me, okay, what do I think about getting a, getting a puppy? Because he has some, he has a co-worker whose uh, dog is pregnant. And I'm like, you know, again, I, like I told him last time, 
I'm not going to tell you no. My concerns are, of course, the mother-in-law making the dog neurotic because she's neurotic. But, you know, so I'm leaving it in his court. I am simultaneously looking forward to and dreading getting a puppy. Um, but, so, I was also thinking and kind of thinking, you know, what, what names? What names do I think I, if Jason asks me to name the dog? But he'll probably name this one. I named Toby. He'll probably name this one. I mean, he actually asked me for Toby. You know, what do you think we should name him? So. But some of mine's been kind of going over and over and over. You know, different names. And <laughs> I had a good laugh when when my mind came to the po you know, point where I was like, you know, how funny would it be to name the dog Squirrel? <laughs> uh, I might have to name a cat Squirrel. We'll see. <laughs> It's always fun sometimes to have a, a bit of a unusual name for a pet. And he more he more or less agreed. He well, actually not agreed. He he is in full agreement that if we get a can we get a puppy. We're, we're going to get a kitten, too. But the dog comes first. The dog has to be in the house first. The puppy. Because um, we found out that when you bring a dog into a cat's house, you know, the cat really doesn't like the dog. The dog, I mean, the cat, cat more or less hated the dog. So we're, we want we want to do it in such a way that the cat and the dog are friends, or in the very least, playmates, or slightly better than tolerates. <laughs> you know, we have hopes. So I'm kind of looking forward to getting getting a kitten, but. We'll see. I mean, this house is very, very crowded as it is with four adults. And I say adults because my son, he's 14. He is already nearly six foot tall. So, <laughs> age wise, he's not exactly an adult, but at this point, he's taller than. Two of the three adults in this house. <laughs> he's taller than me, and he's taller than my mother-in-law. Okay, so it's 37, 13. And these four digits numbers, it takes a little bit more thought process to ensure I have the right number. Okay, so we're getting close. Further, further along. Oh, getting a little warm. I got my fuzzy pants on again, so I just kind of pull them up past my knees. So they're more like sh fuzzy shorts, <laughs> and that helps. Three, seven, two, two. He's right there. There we go. Oh, let's see. 
may have been a few more colors than I recalled, but oh well. It has to be, well, it's got, you know, I have to do it before I put anything else in there because then it would be harder, a little bit harder. Okay, so 37, 31, yes. Move these off to the side because they're getting kind of tall. All right, and so I have another camera on order. So hopefully it'll be in this week. Excuse me. And then the next video I might have a significantly better view. So 3733. 3733 is there. So to let you let you know making these labels I used the DMC shoppers checklist and in one hand and typing the numbers and on these both actually both types of um, label sheets you type the number and then it's two spaces to the left so the first space gets you in here between the circles and the next space gets you in the circle. And then when you get to the end of a row, you do four of those and it gets you to this space. So it was really easy to hold the, the um, DMC list in one hand and type with the other hand and do, you know, type the numbers and then do the two spaces and yeah, or two arrows and just keep going. But as you can see, my um, attention, well, it's, my concentration wavered a little bit in this area because I missed 20, was it 223 or 223? Let's look at the last page. Nope, 221. Okay, so 3787. 3787 is right there. So, work this week has been not pad. It's had slow points and it's had some pretty frantic points as well. But all in all, it's pretty good. 790. Although this week we are we are doing 10 hour days Monday through Thursday because we had Thursday and Friday off last week. Well, Thursday is an, you know, a holiday. So we got a holiday pay for that day. But Friday, the Air Force gets Friday off as a family day. We we don't get Friday off per se. We were given, we were told we wouldn't be working Friday, but you would work four 10-hour days to make up for that one day. So we would still have 40 hours that, this, you know, week. Um, 3859. So it's been some longish days. Today's Wednesday, so I got one more 10 hour day. And then Friday will be a normal, normal 8 hour work day. Thirty 
8861. This is right here. Relatively certain that's my last baggie. Okay. So that's done. Yay. Okay, so clean this up a little bit. And then let's do let's do round first. The round kit first, which is my wish granter, and these were really nice um, drills because they were Diamond Art Club. There were a couple colors that were just absolutely, just pristine, perfect, and beautiful. And of course, three ten and three three seven one, not so much. They were still better than most kits that uh, for three, three ten that I deal with. But all right, so I'm trying to figure out where to where to put this. So I think baggies and cards can be out of view. Yeah, this, this is going to be a heck of a lot easier once I get my other camera. Okay, so. Let me open up my insert cards and pull out a small stack so that they'll be easy to grab. All right, so these these are in order. So first one is 300. So let's go find 300. And again. Like I said when I, when I showed you this the first time, this first, you know, as this gets more and more filled, it'll get easier to find the spaces that I'm looking for. So, of course, there's where I need it because I'm going to put it in front of the card and I will need, I will need a baggie put them in. Alright, so baggy. Ooh. Let's see if we can No, I can't adjust the camera. I opened the baggy closer to me, so I need to learn to do it here so you can see it. But in goes the card. And see how well these work for tipping them in. Pretty good. And no stragglers. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it upside down in there. Give me a little bit more light. And now 300. Now, before I put it back in there, let me keep it out so that I can be sure of my number. So 300 in round going on the back. So what I think I'll do is whatever type is the labels that I'll have on the table and I will leave the other set of labels off somewhere, you know, up on the shelf or something. I have them both here because I wanted to show them to you, and I'm doing two, both types of drills. I'm putting them away. Um, but try not, I'm going to try my darndest not to confuse myself during this process. Okay, so the next one is 301. Open my baggie and get the little card. Insert. Now one of my um, processes, 
when I finish a painting. I will take each one, tip them into a tray to look for any rogue diamonds or any really obvious crap that I need to fish out um, before I so that when I go to do do this I'm not worried about it alright so I do need to move those back out of view because I'm going to pull this forward to place it Alright, so the next one is 310, which is right there. And the painting I did previously was lots of greens and pinks and absolutely zero. <laughs> 310. I love that painting. Right, and you go and oh. here's my label. Yep, I'm really liking having this thing so that I don't have to hunt for a, a space twice. So the next one is 317, which is right here. So I think I'll I will say this each time I do this, just in case you happen to happen across me one of my de-kitting videos. And of course I will put all the appropriate links below. But this system I got from Rebecca at four kids at 147. She's been doing diamond painting for a while longer than me, and she is way more pro prolific with how much she diamond paints. So, 317 is labeled. And in you go. So, she has, okay, my next number is 318, which I already have, boom. First baggie of, that I don't have to make. So, as, as the days, my diamond painting days go on, this will happen more and more. Okay. Alright. Now, I will point in again, I, as I, I, I I'm doing, since I'm doing, this is like one of my, fr my only second de-kitting with this box video, um, I'm figuring out what stuff do I have to say each time, you know. So, what, what's ne what what's helpful, what's necessary, what's just nice to do. All right, so 400. Need a baggie. I one of the things I want to make sure I do is I'll point out I had to order this box from the UK from Hobbycraft's website 
because her measurements fit this particular box. United States photo boxes are smaller. So, not saying it can't be done, but I didn't want to put that I didn't want to put that much thought into it. <laughs> I just wanted I wanted to implement a system without having to figure out all the logistics like I did with my um, floss storage stuff. Okay, so this is 400, and there you are. So if you are interested and you want to put this together for yourself, you will either have to make some adjustments for the US sized boxes or order, you know, if you are US or order from Hobbycraft this website. Okay, 413 is the next one. But if you're in the UK, you're all set, so or if you're in another country. Depending on what you guys have. So you can go on Hobbycraft's um, website, and if I'm, you know, I don't know for certain, but I do think they have the measurements of the box on it, and then you can compare it with the boxes that you can procure locally and see. All right, four thirteen. One is 414. Alright, so I am getting to the point where I could probably take those boats out for the time being. Okay, so 414 is the next one. Give me a baggie and a card. So I really do enjoy doing this, and I know I enjoy watching Rebecca's videos where she does her de-kitting. She calls it her breakdown of a kit, but I don't know if Brits have the same connotation to the word breakdown that we do. I just don't feel comfortable calling it a breakdown. I did want <laughs> in a video, and when I watched it, it just didn't sound right to me so because to us a breakdown is you know either your car breaks down or you have a mental breakdown okay so before I do that I need to get my sticker 414 so that's why I, why I do these videos I enjoy watching them so I want to let me move those boats a little bit further out of the way so that they don't keep bumping into this. Okay, my next color is 415. So as you can tell, there was some pretty decent gradient going. When you get a string, well, n not all strings of numbers in DMC is a single color gradient. Um, schema, 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 grouping, but there are quite a few, so you you kind of get to know when it's when, which numbers when a string of numbers is just a gradient of a certain color. So. I didn't mention, so obviously if I didn't say anything, it, you know, you can kind of assume. 
but I didn't run out of any drills. So it all was good in this kit and the other kit that I'm going to de-kit today. So 415, the next one is 762. So a little bit further back, 761 and 762. Boom. So, oh. I've been thinking about getting a better chair for this desk. Um, but that's kind of hard. Alright, so first page I can flip over. And second page I can flip over. So 762 is right here. So what I currently have here is a spinny stool. So it's a stool that's on has roller feet and it spins and it has the lift and lower mechanism in it too. But the seat is is just wood. It's it's hard and not comfortable. But the problem is is my desk is so low here because the I have a card table the there's a card table underneath this board board. This board is from an old drafting desk which the legs had seen better days and I didn't want to deal with the wobbly wobbly of it so I figure it out. I can just set it on a on a card table and call it good. So there we go. The next one is where's my readers? Sometimes to be able to read my own writing. Okay, that's 796. Let's go find 796. Should be right here. I feel like I just went down a rabbit hole. I was saying something and then I got sidetracked and I know I can't remember what it was I was saying in the first place. Well, let's get my baggie first. This. The insert. I think I've determined that I like putting the drills in first and then labeling it. Just seems to work better for me. Seven ninety six. Yeah. All right. So what else is happening that I can chat about? Eight twenty. So I had a I had a trip planned. In January, going to Cincinnati, north of Cincinnati. So it's a stitching group get together. And I'm really looking forward to it. the The retreat itself is not happening, but they did say, you know. Um, so we're not having the big room people sitting at tables at the big room. They decided not to do that, but they did say that if you want to gather in small groups around the hotel, because it's a lake resort, it does have several seating areas throughout the hotel, that you, you your, your small group could do that. And so my my clan, the wonderful clan that we refer to as Team Bernard, um, 
decided that yes we would. We'll, we'll all get together and we'll find one of the empty seating areas and sit and stitch for a nice relaxing weekend. So I booked my room and I booked my flight. Well my flight, I got an email, my flight's been cancelled. So they're giving me the option of a refund or look at what else is available and see if I can find another flight that works for me. Okay, so 820. And to be honest, as much as I want as much as I want to go. How do I say this? Sometimes you don't realize Let me get this number real quick. 995 So you don't realize how worried you were about something. Okay, so I didn't I didn't realize how worried I was about traveling in January with COVID still still trudging on in the COVID world. Until I got that email, and I and I felt, I guess I felt kind of okay. Getting out of order. Okay, I I felt I felt relieved. Really, I still would really, really, really love to get together with these gals. I have so much fun with them. The thought of not going. Is, is you know kind of breaks my stitcher stitcher's heart um, but I can't ignore that sudden how it, that sudden rush of feeling that I had when I read the email and just the relief of it. So I have to, I do have to pay attention to that and go with, you know, the, the opportunity that I've been given to get a full refund for my flight, which if, if you were to ask for it, Good luck getting it out of the airline kind of thing, but when they offer it, you know, so I'm like, all right. So apparently, I was debating in in a corner of my mind. I was debating on whether or not I should not take this trip because the that's the responsible thing to do is not travel during this time. Now when we when we booked this whole thing there was a possibility that there would be a vaccine in play by then and you know you you just there's no way of knowing at the time how if how things were going to either degrade or improve. Excuse me, I got to get a drink. Of my Dr. Pepper, God, I, you know, Dr. Pepper is my favorite. So, as it turns out, I'm going to let the airline know that I will take them up on their cancellation refund, and then I have to contact the Hotel, the lodge, and cancel my regist my um, what's the word reservation. Ooh, three three seven one. I already have. Boom. So 
that works. Yes, I am. I'm disappointed that I'm gonna miss the little get together because I was really looking forward to it. But with with things as they are, and to be honest, I I was only mildly concerned about getting COVID while I traveled. I mean, I am realistic. It could happen. But I can also be very cautious. What I was mostly concerned about. Okay, let, let's give it a 40-60 split. So 40% concerned about the possibility increased risk of getting COVID while I traveled. And 60% Okay, let me get my baggie for this. Um, is for my job I work I work on an Air Force base. Well, every time you go through the gate to get to work, they ask you, do the questions apply to you? So, have you traveled outside the local area? You know, blah, blah, blah. Have you been in contact with blah, 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 you know? 3790, is that 99? I'm pretty certain. Give me a second. Yes, 99. As opposed to 3779, this one is 3799. Um, so, if I say yes to any of the questions, I will immediately be directed to go immediately go to the clinic on base and get tested okay so in a normal world that's all well and dandy because you're thinking well if if you didn't contract COVID then your test is going to show up negative and you'll be allowed to go to work well, not so much. What they what they've been doing is people go get tested because they're concerned. You know, I was in, you know, like I was in contact with somebody. I want that came down with it. I want to get tested to see if I've got it. You know, that kind of stuff. Or I tra I had to travel somewhere. I had to travel into an area that has a high, you know, risk. Um, but really, you get tested and your test comes up negative. Oh, they say, oh, well, it might be a false negative we're going to quarantine you anyway. So no matter what your test comes out as, you get quarantined. Which is all well and good for military, for active duty, because they just go on permissive, you know, TDY status for medical reasons. For us civilians that work as a contractor on base, not so much because if I can't get to work, I don't get paid. Okay, well let's put let's let's put it let's no back up back up back up. If I get quarantined, I am forced to use up my PTO, which is personal time off. So my vacation time. So a 14-day quarantine, just for shits and giggles, 
because I got tested even even though it came out negative I got tested would wipe out my PTO 3846 yes so the idea of going through that had had a lot of anxiety <laughs> it was causing me a lot of anxiety so as much as I want to go to that stitchers stitching get together in the uh, I mean just beautiful absolutely beautiful Houston State Park which is in Ohio north of Cincinnati the state lot the lodge at the on the state park is rustic and just it's a gorgeous building and so cozy it just it feels like it feels like how I would want my home to be 3846 I was causing myself a lot of anxiety thinking about what happens when I get back See, I could have a great time I could come home completely clear of COVID and still get fucked Sorry for my language, but yeah. All right, so I'm coming up. This is the last number in this kit. 3865. My my headache is becoming way more pronounced. So I think I might stop at the end, you know, this kit. I'll do the other one tomorrow, I think. That that seems like a plan. If I try to push myself, um, I might really regret it. Got a couple of drills that don't want, really, really don't want to leave. I must have gotten glue on that one at some point because it was literally sticking to this flat side. Okay, 3865. 65. Alright, so I did do the colors. I don't know if drills come in these extended colors. Was it what I think this was? Was this 2013? They did these colors, so three, three eight eight zero, all the way up to three eight nine five. But I put them on there just, you know, just in case. It'd be easier to make the labels. Put them on there. Um, at the, you know, when I created them, then to go back and build other labels. All right, so there we are. I'm starting to fill this side. I mean, granted, the cards filled this much of the this much of it to begin with, so it's just a matter of filling up the remaining space with bags of drills. Um, but it won't be much longer before I have to start moving them, grab a, you know, start scooching them along. Okay, so that's it for tonight. I will come back and do the other kit tomorrow night. Alright, so where's my lid? Where's my lid? So again, thank you guys for joining me for this, and I hope... I hope you enjoy these videos as much as I do. Because um, if not, then then you know don't don't watch them. If you don't enjoy it, don't watch it. That's the easy easy thing <laughs> about this. I'm making this for 
the people like me who enjoy them. Alright. So, thank you for joining me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm repeating myself, but... Um, okay, so, thank you for joining me for this, and happy crafting, and we'll catch you next time.